one. Look, this one. Oh, this one. We're going on a bear hunt. We're not scared. I'd like a school outfit on. From the pages of a children's book to the streets of Auckland, children are hunting for teddy bears in people's windows. The game is a way to entertain children living under lockdown. We're going on a bear hunt because we can't get out much. Yeah, because, because we're not allowed to go outside and the, all the shops are closed. New Zealand's coronavirus lockdown came into effect on Thursday for four weeks. Citizens can only leave their homes if they work in essential services, are going to the supermarket or for health care, or to go for a walk with the people they live with. We expect and accept that people will go for a walk. They will take their children outside to get fresh air. They might look for teddy bears in windows, but as they pass people, keep your distance. Don't talk to others. Just stay within your bubble. Um, and if you're in Wellington and, and you're walking in the local neighbourhood, you might see one in my window. Her fiancé followed up with this, a panda and a bear looking down from their residence near Parliament. And it's not just in New Zealand. This was in Washington, D.C. and Texas. As coronavirus has spread, teddy bear hunts have followed from Sydney to Toronto and London. They have started from community groups, spread to cities, and in New Zealand's case, a nation. Each paw print is a geotagged bear. The psychological boost goes beyond children, helping those isolating at home to feel part of the community while staying apart. We've got the bear in the window. He's had a lot of attention, and we're cheering everyone up in Christchurch because we need it. It's easy to get the sense that the world has become a more hostile place um, and, it's, and, and that we're more divisive and we're more apart. But if you look at what humans do when things get tough, humans help humans. That's what they do. So I think what this whole teddy bear thing is showing is like well, we want to help each other. All over the world, people are all the same. And so you get this lovely thing breaking out of little kids wandering around all over the world looking for teddy bears. We're not Michael Rosen wrote the book, We're Going on a Bear Hunt, 30 years ago. He said, hi, Teddy. Hi, Teddy. Al Jazeera asked for comment, but was told he too is sick with virus symptoms. Still, his words are coming to life, supporting children and adults through this pandemic. Charlotte Ballas, Al Jazeera.